Happening today, more than 10,000 more North Alabama students will head back to class. Jackson County Schools and Decatur City Schools will open their doors to students in just a few hours. Students in Jackson County, they're waking up, they're packing their bags, their lunches, they're getting ready to get on the bus for the first day of school. But not all students might be getting on that bus. Some have the option to learn from home. Way 31's Luke Hydash is live this morning with the details on what the district is doing to keep students safe. Luke, good morning. The sun's finally up out there. Hi, Lyndon. Hi, Megan. Yeah, sun's up and those kiddos are getting up out in Jackson County, getting ready to head on the school bus for the first time. Some of them in more than a year and whether or not they pass a mask. Well, that is up to them. Masks are optional out in Jackson County schools. As far as virtual learning, there are still some students choosing to learn virtually. Only high schoolers have that option, though. And if you do choose to learn online, you have until Monday to apply and be accepted into that virtual program. Everyone else, though, back in the classroom in Jackson County Schools. The district says they'll be cleaning classrooms and buses regularly and students when they're on that bus will have assigned seats to help mitigate COVID spread. Again, wearing a mask optional at this point on in Jackson County Schools and on the bus. The school system says this year it's a matter of personal responsibility and they stress that if your child is sick, keep them home. Now, here's a fun little note. Jackson County Schools offering free breakfast and lunch to students this year. So hey, if I know Lyndon Blake and Megan Reyna, they're going to be posing as Jackson County students to go get that meal today. Reporting live in Decatur, Luke Hydash, Way 31 News. A little dramatic. Well, we might be, but never mind.